Hi, and welcome back to some Kinkwe. If you've not seen the previous episode, go ahead and watch it. And if you're new, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Anyways, we're here on the real route once again. I'm very excited, liking it so far. So far. Uh, but with that being said, let's get started. Hey everyone. It was another ordinary morning. I guess I had fully adjusted in my new life at Noble Academy. Hmm? What's up? She looked pretty under the weather. Hey now. <laughs> the righteous one among us stepped forward. Of course, the bomb of the group. Here came the lecture. My condolences. <laughs> I knew what she meant. Raina didn't seem like the drinking type. くどくどくどくど。あ、あのね、ルチ。二日酔いは嘘で。本当は。マンボマンボ。あ、そ、そうでしたか。すいません。余計なことを。お。は?思い言うでしたら、今日は休まれた本はよろしいのでは。あ、
Hey, that's crazy. Chill. Ryo took a huge drag on the cigarette in her mouth. I did think this attitude was part of the problem as to why I couldn't intuitively declare as a female friend either. Well, setting all of that aside for now. By the way, I had a dream this morning. I thought you were a boy back in the day, right? Ah, Shelby, ni mo otoko tomo dachi te shoukai suru kara mendo koumutta. But why didn't you just say the facts how it was? Is I don't understand. Sorry. Anyway, in the dream,、uh -huh. we had just introduced ourselves, and I'd given you the nickname Soma. I'm pretty sure that was the first time we met, but I was already convinced you were a boy by then. Why was that? Were you wearing some super manly clothes or something? Fukunanza, boy, the naked or haven unisex that tanjanaka? Oche, or a moya mo shaletoka muton chaku that she told you a hobo scout or hakanakata she. Sorry, Ria. Really? I wonder why, then. Some other basis by which I'd assume she was a boy. That'd have to be. Hmm. Hmm. Ria? Huh? Uh, your cigarette. Ria had been so lost in thought, she hadn't noticed a slow burning flame had reached her fingers and she dropped it in a panic. Are you alright? Did you get burned? Cigarette flames were apparently stupidly hot and Ria looked like she was in pain. Aw, what are you spacing out for? So spicy. Show it to me. I grabbed her hand. Ah, the side of her index finger was beat red. This was going to blister over later. Let's see. Did just. No! Awful! No, 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 no. What is he doing? Did, is there a finger in his mouth? I licked it. Okay. Still weird. I give it a lick for whatever reason, but is there any point in putting saliva on a burn? Why is she not more disgusted? She's not saying anything. What's, something's wrong here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What the freak is this dude doing? I did just that. Ria clicked her tongue as she picked up a cigarette she dropped.、Uh, get. That was when we noticed. The cigarette was gone. We looked everywhere, but it was nowhere to be found. Worse yet, we had been quite close to the fence. Inevitably, there was only one possibility we could imagine. We took a discreet peek down from the fence.、Uh, Burns the whole school down, that'd be crazy. Now you've done it. It doesn't look like you hit anyone at least. Her cigarette had fallen below. Luckily, I didn't hit anyone or started any fires. But a crowd had formed. Shane. Don't just cheese it. Things will get ugly if someone comes. I know it's kind of weird why he said that. I don't know. Me either. I'm a little hyped up. No choice but to give up on the sunset for the day. We headed downstairs. <laughs> Clack. Oh. Mm, we turned back just before we got the chance. Guess we were too late. They must have called ahead. Teachers are on their way up the stairs to the roof. Sure. She pointed to the top of the water tank. Hope. <laughs> I guess it was true that teachers at rich schools turn a blind eye when they can't be heavy handed with their students. We were saved. It doesn't sound like the one you dropped hit anyone either. Ria lit up a new one. She really was a chain smoker. <sighs> hmm? Oh, yeah.、Uh, what was it again? We were talking about something before the cigarette fiasco, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Must not have been too important. I know. It was how I had most comfortable when you and I were hanging out as friends. Ah, so. Those were my honest feelings. 
There it is. None of this romance stuff really clicked with me yet. Sylvie included. What I wanted more right now were friends. People I could have a relaxed conversation with. Interesting. Or what if in this room he doesn't get with Rhea? He just has friends. I wouldn't be opposed to that idea. I was cut off from Torio and know my other old friends at the moment too. Among them all, Rhea definitely was special. It was easy enough for me to talk to Sylvie, Reyna, and Ellison. But she was even more special. That was where Rhea stood at me. Did you say something? Hm. You missed it. We watched the warning, warning, waning sunset. I don't know. Just how many times had we shared this time together? This moment of setting gold, which are more often than I could account, never changed no matter how much time passed. It's so pretty. Uh. These were the only moments in which Rio's ordinarily harsh tongue made few appearances. Rio was enraptured by its descending glow. You know, when she put that foul mouth of hers aside, she could be pretty cute. Then again, we'd gotten close enough at this point that she felt more real like when she was abrasive. I looked back at the sunset once more. A little too radiant, I squinted my eyes. You're going to mess your eyes up if you stare straight at the sun like that. Ah. Uh, it was still dangerous regardless. Oh well, she closed her eyes and rested him off and on so it was probably okay. Yeah. Almost. 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 Couldn't read that. Dyslexia hasn't been too bad this episode. Isn't that great? Oh and uh Drink water. This is your daily reminder. Rhea's eyes were shut. What are you thinking about right now? Rhea giggled. Yep. That literal? Good point. The world was golden. A golden world that only existed between the serene afternoon as it transitioned into twilight. Hmm. Agreed. It was such a wonderful moment that I wished I could clip it straight out of time. Because it was pretty? Something told me that wasn't the only reason. It was because it was a time I could be alone with Rhea. Practically detached from the world. That was so unbelievably comforting. If we had that stopwatch, I'd probably press it myself. I also wished I could stay like this forever. Just as we were, Rhea and I, together. Yeah? Hmm, like I said, Sylvia invited me. Ah, uh, well, I didn't want to tell her about everything I'd gone through with the baseball club. Or about Chieka. <laughs> it's been a while since I said Chieka. <laughs> so dumb. Luckily enough, she dropped the subject before I was put in a tough spot. Sharp one. Rhea isn't Rhea, what's going on? Where did this come from? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Had this golden world softened her emotions in some way? Ryu was oddly cheerful today. Cute. Who would have thought the day would come that I'd find this delinquent, unfriendly as a stray dog? Cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> unfriendly as a stray dog. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Guess so. Over the summer, I was at my lowest possible point. But if that meant I could meet you and Sylvia again, then I'm grateful to everything I went through. I'm grateful it led me to this golden time. Life was a funny thing. 
There was no telling when something you thought was awful might lead you to happiness elsewhere. If you thought of it that way, there might not be any awful moments in this world. Any and everything might just lead up to a golden moment. What in the world are we even saying? We both chuckled. I guess we were saying some pretty cheesy stuff very. How embarrassing. I didn't mind though, especially not if it was Riria. I always had so much fun when I was with her. Because every moment was golden. Which is why I had this big idea. This moment would continue on forever. And we would always be the closest to friends. Forever. That was how I felt, for no reason in particular. I liked the little vibe they had going on there. Ah. Money? It's locked. The doorknob just clacked when I turned it and refused to budge. It only made sense this would happen once the teachers came here on patrol. No way, bro. That's bad. <laughs> Still. I didn't even know <laughs> I didn't even know the door could lock. I had never been locked before, so I had no idea. Literally, this is the only route this has happened, I guess. What should we do? Mm. Call Sobi and have her royal cheat powers to set you free. I'd sooner avoid any live or die scenarios. No doubt that'd cause more problems in the smoking. It's November, we'll die. Ryo fished fish through her pockets. She pulled out her phone. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, of course we should go with the stupidly easy solution. What a great time to be alive. Let's not talk about that. We're 21st century students in the era of pressure-free education and we have a right to put modern civilization to its greatest possible use to make up for how often we're pointlessly marked for how easy we have it. Hurry up and call someone. Dang, that's depressing. What? He doesn't have his phone? My phone is in the cl Of course. Of course. <laughs> I left my bag back there. <laughs> what do we do? Maybe the cops? Maya. <laughs> She put her phone to work. Looked like she was chatting with someone over Luan. What the heck? So you do have a friend who will come save you. Bam. Uh, of course it's her. <laughs> There's the daily bash of Ayaka. Huh? It was like he was the last person I expected to see. <laughs> Yeah, he said. <laughs> the three of us headed back together. <laughs> What's on your ad, you Jesus? I could feel Jogosaki glaring at me. Um, I don't want to make her angry after she'd come to help us. You two really are close, huh? You hodo janeo. Eh? Well, that sounds very not nice. What are you talking about? That had to be on purpose, but she refused to say another word about it. Ria? Commodity? Why is Ria a commodity? So? Nazi I don't like your attitude. Ayaka. Rhea. Don't ask me, she said. Wait, wh where's her voice line? She didn't say anything. What? Hold on, let me... Let me go. Let me do this again. Maybe it was a little glitch? I don't know. She done it. Oh, there we go, there we go. They wouldn't tell me. What was with them? Then Jogosaki noticed how curious I was and grinned. Given how they were acting, I was sure they wouldn't tell me. It must have been tough to mention considering even Rhea wouldn't spill. Hmm. 
While I was busy, busy, while I was busy thinking that through, we reached my dorm room. Rhea, does your family manufacture anything? Maybe. Yeah, true. <laughs> what are you laughing at? In the end, I never did understand her answer. It's all good then. Good night, Rhea. Jugasaki, thanks for today. Eh? Oyasumi. Just, just wait a minute. Huh? She stopped me for some reason. You don't know anything about Rhea. You don't know anything about Rhea. What's going on here? I am curious, but I assume you're not going to tell me. Why are you being weird? It's fine, then. This is a pain anyway. Rita's my friend, and it's fun to chat with her. She may be a delinquent, but she's not the kind of person who do anything wrong. Smoking aside, anyway. Which means there's no reason for me to pry any further. I'll figure it out someday if she tells me. <laughs> what? Not the reaction you were looking for. Good night. I went back to my room. What do you mean? We're closer than I thought. <laughs> Literally shut up, yeah. It's all you. <laughs> if word gets out unprompted. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. お疲れ様でした。シルビア様、残る洗い月。クリスマスにやる模様。ガーデン。ああ。I am so sorry。ああ。そうだったわね。決めちゃわないと。ね、せっかくのクリスマスなのだから。普通の、と申されますと。ノー。例えばそうね。参加者は学園の uh, yes, of course. Yeah, that's what you're ささいなことも国の威信がどうこうあって。でも大丈夫よ。この間一目会えたのだけど。私きっと彼女の知り合いだわ。うん。金色ラブリッチ。ああ。<笑><笑> The door to the rooftop. Doorknob and the ladders of the neighboring stairways were bound by chains. No! What? Well, that's lame. To top it all off, it was even sealed by a massive padlock with a label posted near it. Say to near the Itazra Tahatsunitsuki Genju ni Sejo Chu. Okujoni yo no arumono a shokin shi yo mobu made unno kanno. We can't get in now, huh? This area was technically off limits, and we're taking advantage of the lenient rules to come and go as we pleased. But. Oh. You silly goose. How? Nah, that's something I'd forget too. Hold on, did I skip something? No, no, we're good, we're good. Ah, uh, that's what clinched it. 
No doubt a different teacher had come to take another look afterward. If a door that was supposed to be locked got opened back up in such a short time frame, it's still the reason they'd put real countermeasures in place. <laughs> The teachers are elites themselves, at least in the extremes they'll take. The door was sealed off, completely covered in chains. Countermeasures aside, they didn't have to be this overzealous. What do we do? Just cut the chains. Well, yeah, they were going to counter us this hard. Me too. Cut the chains. Cut the chains. As early as it was, we decided to head back. We are gazed up at the setting sun, bitterly. Sunset was a sunset, but the academy was obstructing our view and made it difficult to get a good look at it. Those dang bastards. We made our way to an open field, but the mountains and nearby woods blocked it out too. The rooftop really was the perfect spot, huh? Ah. Oh, they look so sad. Well, this place, Hamachi City, wasn't quite what you call a coastal city. It was beside the Pacific Ocean. Put in other terms, I meant the sun rose over the ocean. To watch the sun as it set over the horizon, you have to head toward the Sea of Japan. Thanks to its overall length of several dozen kilometers, you could see it over Hamamatsu Lake. You could, but it was ultimately just a lake. If you were in just the right position, your view would be obstructed in some form. Somewhere decently high and open would be necessary. Although I was sure it was a coincidence, our academy's roof met all of these conditions. Ah. Uh... Don't be so down. She sounded incredibly disappointed. I guess she really had loved that spot. I was disappointed too. It sucked that I couldn't see that sight for a while. It had felt like the golden color from those twin sunsets as it reflected off the horizon had engulfed the sky and the entire world. At some point or another, I'd become enthralled by it. Ryo made her way up close to the lake. Don't fall in. <sighs> that reminded me, I'd fallen in when we were little. That was when Sylvie saved me and we became friends. Ryo carefully discerned the lake's boundaries and treaded on the wet grass. Yeah? Yeah? Huh? What's that all about? この湖に入ったものは輝ける永遠の時間へ旅立つ。覚えてない？あ、how uh, did it go again? I vaguely remembered hearing something about it when we were little. キャンプだよ。ほらいくつか聞いたじゃん。おとぎ話。Oh yeah, I totally remember. It was told in a romantic way. I was given a rather Dreadful explanation of said fairy tale when I took a local history class back in elementary school. It said he wouldn't ascend into eternity by falling into the lake and would simply drift out to sea. It was an interesting story to hear back then. What was it again? Wasn't there something like Urashima Taro? Huh? It's really funny that I think about it and I don't really know where I'd even start picking it apart. <laughs> Even in a time with photos, I bet people just believe they were a lookalike if the same thing happened in the year 2300. Why, Ria? Ria stopped in place and gazed out beyond the lake. Though the setting sun was out of sight, the lake itself was dyed a reddish gold. That looks nice. Who knew how many it could be? More than anyone could ever count, for sure. Count. My bad. <laughs> Ryo's being quite the romanticist today. Cute. She'd probably get mad at me if I said that out loud, though. Yeah, nah. Maybe don't say nothing at all. It had gotten chilly, so we headed back to the dorm. I'm basically like that Urashima Toro. I'm basically like that Urashima Taro, but 
do you remember anything? You brought up tons of anecdotes about that, like. So, 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 so yeah, I could see that. I didn't know why it was, but that lake had a ton of anecdotes that all involved leaps through time, but it. to. <sighs> be it to the past or the future. How weird. Good night, Rhea. We split up. <sighs> Man. The rooftop got locked off. Given how things played out, I bet we wouldn't be able to get anywhere near it for the rest of the term, if that. The earliest we could hope for was in third term, which started in January. Another month and a half. That was a long ways off. Mm. Mm. Oops. <gasps> Just a little. Uh, yeah. This was kind of unexpected. Saturday. The roof was blocked off on Tuesday, so it had been four days since then. And that was the last time I'd seen Rhea. Hmm. Uh, sure. Hey, Mina-chan, what do you think of Rhea? Rhea, your neighbor. Since Mina-chan was occupying the room across from me, that would make Rhea diagonally opposite of her. I'm sure. Unless she got half a mind to do so, Rhea never left her room. She would randomly drop by my place, but she'd never let me go into hers if I popped over. She'd either be gone or sleep the entire day away and get ticked off if you woke her up. Given how little she interacted with Reina and me, any interaction between the other boarders was non existent. All of the boarders responded in kind. There's one other person she got along with, though. This monster here that likes butt play. But I couldn't ask her how she felt about Rhea. Why? To sum her up, she lived in an extremely tiny world. I wasn't about to criticize her for it. It was her life. So all well. So all was well as long as she lived it her own way. It was just... Yeah. I had believed I was a part of that tiny world. And that we were actually tightly knit. Even if you took away my connection to Soma from when we were little. I thought I had a good relationship with Rhea. As reality would have it. Once you severed the link between us. That rooftop. I couldn't see her whenever I wanted. It wasn't as if I couldn't go to see her, but I couldn't find a reason to see her. Could you call us friends given all of this? I was shocked when I made that realization. And here I thought we were close. <sighs> Stand up! Stand <laughs> up! Stand up, bro. Stand up, go see her. What? She pulled me by the hand. Oh, uh, um. Oh, A tremendously straightforward approach. I could have done this along if this was her plan. Alone, I think, right? There was no response. But... True, there were sounds someone... There were sounds coming from inside like clothes rustling. Rustling or rustling. Which should mean she was there, but... She could be asleep, Mina-chan. 
Minachan banged on the door without a care. <laughs> this girl, totally the type to bulldoze anyone good natured, not that it was a bad thing, but even if Rio were around, there was foregone conclusion that she'd ignore us. Her persistence had ultimately won out. We could hear Rio stirring inside. When? <laughs> It was a loud bang from inside. The sound of something that had fallen based on the timing. Rio, are you okay? <laughs> it was rude. She opened the door without permission. What the freak was that? <laughs> the reason why I find it so funny too is because I remember one time when I was little. You know when you're little, you do the most dumbest, most deviant crap ever. Well, one time... You know how back in the day, I don't know if you're in America, but or I don't know how it is around the world, but back in the day, in the good old days when I was a little kid, <laughs> there was these TVs that were squarey and were super, super, super heavy, super heavy. And so this TV was in the middle of my room and it was on top of a wooden, I don't even know what to call it, but it was a wooden thing that had a ton of drawers and it was probably like five feet tall almost. And I wanted to reach the TV the you know, turn the volume or change it because back then they also had buttons right in front of the TV, those little square TVs. And so I was climbing the thing on the drawers and then I, f <laughs> the whole thing tipped over, like coming towards me. And so I went back with the TV and everything just, that's what it reminded me of. Oh man. Despite the fact I've never been inside Rita's room before, I'd gotten to peek inside a couple of times. The room was pretty bare and didn't feel lived in at all. However, the huge luxurious bed definitely caught my eye. It was massive for someone so petite, but ideal for a hermit like Rhea. Her bed she was wrapped tightly around her legs and she was holding her head. Dude, I don't care about that. Is she alive? <laughs> Mira-chan rushed over to her. I assumed she slipped on the sheets when she tried to get out of bed. I guess it would depend on how harsh an angle she had fallen out, but... <laughs> <laughs> picked me up. <laughs> Did she have any lumps? She touched her head. <laughs> Rio pushed her away in a huff. She quickly kicked and wiggled her way out of the sheets. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, someone get her her cigarettes. <laughs> Don't be mean to Mina. She grabbed her by the collar and threw her out of the room. Oh my god. Oh. Aww, poor Mina. Oh wait, Rhea, calm down. Uh oh, you done messed up now. She was so enraged that I rushed between them. Luckily for us, she only looked like a delinquent. She calmed down very quickly. She was just worried. We heard this awful sounding bang. Okay, she's a little toxic or whatever. I could fix her. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about that too. Oh yeah, you fell. Are you okay? She doesn't look okay. Uh oh, that's what happened. She was holding her shoulder. If you thought it through, hardly anyone would fall out of their bed at head first. She wasn't exactly a child. Touch. She touched her elbow and brushed it gently. Rue was still angry, but she didn't shake free this time. <laughs> Poor Mina. <laughs> In spite of the tears in Mina-chan's eyes, she didn't show her a single shred of mercy. Dang. <laughs> Like I said, she was worried about you too. I mean, but weren't you holding your head? That shut her up for some reason or another. Well, 
this was Mina Chan's own fault, so this outcome was inevitable. Tell anyone what? Jeez. Hmm? She whispered something in her ear so that I couldn't hear, then went back into her room. Mina Chan stood there with tears in her eyes. Mina's annoying, but she does not deserve this. Poor thing. A group of people had heard a commotion in the front door. While I downplayed the situation off the cuff, Mina Chan headed to her own room, and Jogosaki headed to Ria's. <sighs> what a horrible day. What a rough start. Uh oh. Bro, what? Y'all are so... Uh, god dang. I like Ryo, but god dang. You sure did, you little toxic you. You better apologize, you piece of crap. I'm actually mad at Ria. Not cool, Ria, not cool. Thank God, it's a quiet transition. We need more of those. Makes sense, given her personality. Mina Chan was a perfectionist at heart, the type who expected perfection from both herself and others, so she genuinely hated the inconvenience people. They only dealt with each other because of me. I feel just as sorry. I was the one who begged for trouble. They probably knew their personalities wouldn't mesh and avoided each other. Not as a conscious decision, but just a feeling they happened to have. I hope they could make amends after everything that had happened. But that would be a pretty tall order in its own right. In contrast with Ryo's indifferent personality, Mina Chan would give her a full scale apology. Should be the other way around, bro. Although I could understand some people do not like being touched for whatever reason. You just don't know. But it doesn't matter. You just shouldn't touch people. But even then, it's also like, dang, dude, she's just trying to be nice. That would be way too serious. If only we could find some sort of common ground between them. Are you okay? <laughs> hmm. Good luck out there. I guess she had places to be. Royalty had it rough. Minachan looked visibly bothered by what happened and kept glancing over at Ria's room. A day. Rather than going to give some poorly thought out apology, I think you'd better off if you gave her time to let her go. It may not suit Minachan's overly sincere disposition, but that degree of leniency fit Ria's personality best. Minachan looked back to Ria's room a few times, reluctant to leave. Poor thing. Hmm? She clenched her fingers in midair, as if she were recalling some sensation. What the? I could hear the helicopter's propeller outside. Her ride was here, and off she went. Reina cackled. The hand gesture Mina Chan made weighed on my mind, but I quickly brushed it off. Unlike yesterday, this ought to turn out a peaceful day. Up until that moment. Yeah. Yeah. No, please. So loud. Thank you. マリアのことで我がまま言ったから仕方ないけれど。今日は何だったかしら病院の慰問です。日本政府指定の難病患者を慰問します。あれか。まあ、慰問先では大抵喜んでもらえるからいいのだけど。その様子をカメラで撮られ
Mino, do you want to go? Seeing Mino sad just makes me sad. <laughs> this sucks. Yes. I'm going to get trouble in the middle of the night. What? What? If it's necessary, we will move on. No matter what. I just want to ask you to be a good person. So, I don't know what to do, but it's a good thing to do. Who did you give me a good person? Um, I'm in the house of the house. I'm going to ask you to be a good person. What? Oh my god. Stop. I've got nothing going on at all. If they don't. Whoosh. Bam. It looked like the helicopter had circled back and was hovering above the grass, but Sylvie got off anyway. Her shoes, shoes' heels were broken and she jumped out. <laughs> <coughs> Dude, once her eyes, which I had never seen bloodshot before, <laughs> spotted me. Huh? Huh? The cat was out of the bag? Dash. She didn't hesitate and rushed down the hall. Sylvia opened the same door her sister had pushed open before. Without so much as a knock. Ah. Oh. Not that I felt like stopping her, but maybe I should have. <laughs> First there was a little sister, and now her big sister was moved to tears. Rhea tilted her head, looking defeated. <laughs> it wasn't me, seriously. I didn't say a word. I tried to hide it. But that was asking too much to begin with. Trying to run away from a beloved childhood friend of all things. She hugged her. Then she dragged her down to the floor little by little. I'll explain that. Rio flailed and struggled, but she was completely helpless. She really didn't have any physical strength, huh? Oh, then how she throw out me out of the room? Sylvie held Rio's face firmly between her hands. <laughs> Why is she? What? What's going on? What their character? What? They stared into each other's eyes so close their noses could nose them. <laughs> <sighs> Sylvie simply couldn't contain herself. Alrighty. Two hours later, he somehow managed to calm Sylvie down and brought her somewhere out of the public eye. Thanks. Oh. Sure. Raina was so overly familiar with my place that she immediately opened the fridge the second she walked into the room. At least on the side, I wasn't sure what point there was to her being here. <laughs> Not that it mattered at the moment since this was a far bigger issue. Mm. I'll only say this now that everything's played out this way, but she asked me not to tell. Don't blame me. Soma-kun, how did you do it? I thought it would be better to 
You're so silly, Ria. I don't understand why. Doesn't add up. Just smoke, bro. Nobody cares. I don't care. I guess that over there, maybe they do care in Japan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the big deal. I see no big deal here. I'm gonna wrap it up there. I think that's a really, really good spot to wrap it up there. This was a... I was gonna say a tame episode, but after her seeing Soma or Rhea, and then Rhea going off on the little sister, I was like, okay, well, it wasn't that chill. It wasn't that tame. It was an interesting episode. Once again, I found myself enjoying this so far a lot more than the previous route. I am very, very excited to wrap this up, to finish this up, but also not. But again, there's another game to this that I assume or I believe or I've heard that's a continuation of all the roots of this game. So I can't wait to see that. Anyways, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please let me know by hitting that like. Subscribe. If you haven't already done so, share this video with your homies or whoever you talk to. Even if it's your pets, I don't know. Just share it. I would appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you again for watching. It really, really, really means the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Y'all stay safe. And until next time, guys.